Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing this look. So let's get started. Just taking rose of oil, I'm putting that all over my face as a moisturizer and a base for my foundation. I'm gonna do eyes first today because we're gonna do a little bit more of a glam look. I'm taking my Better Skin Maybelline Superstay Concealer as a start for my primer. Power by Arbon and kicking that all over the eyes because your girl's eyelids are probably the oiliest things on earth. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> That's the first shade right here in the color of palette and sticking that all in the crease for a transition. Her eyeshadows are not the most pigmented, but them built up are absolutely beautiful. Her palette is definitely one of my go-tos for day looks. I haven't done a whole glam look with it before, but I guess we'll try it today. <laughs> brush and deepen up a little bit with the third shade over in the first row. Okay. I'm going to take a more dense, smaller brush, but still fluffy, and take this middle in the last row. And put this all on my outer V. Just like kind of pat it in there so you can get the color payoff. And we'll blend it out in a second. I feel like this is taking way longer than I wanted to, so I might dip into. Something else to just get that automatic payoff instead of building it up right now. Not that I don't have time, but I'm just <laughs> want it to happen now. I'm gonna take it to my Lorac Tails and Tops palette. Tails and Top Hats palette. <laughs> and take that second shade because it's very dark. With this big, woo, look at whoa. Big fluffy brush. Ooh. That just blend out to nothing. That's just gone. Did it even? Did it make that darker? I don't even know. I'm about to just use black. Nothing wants to work today. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Alright, so I've used like six brushes to try to blend a dark brown in that shouldn't take that long. We're gonna go back in with the original fluffy brush and blend a mixture of the first two we were using. Just to get that warmth of the orange back. Why do I feel like this side's always like perfect? And besides, like, no, not ever. I'm just gonna go with the glitter. I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer. With this, it gets super tacky. So I would suggest doing one at a time. You only need like a dime sized amount, if not even, like a pea, actually. I'm gonna put it on my one eye. 
This is super hard to blend out too, so if you get it where you don't want it, blending it out is a B. So you're gonna wanna be super careful as to where this goes. I'm gonna take a flat, dense brush and go in with this second peachy, orangey, shimmery kind of color. Sometimes going in with sparkle shades is honestly easier and you can get more color payoff with your finger. I'll do this out with my finger and see if if it's a difference. Cause sometimes it is. And sometimes the glitter just doesn't wanna work. So yeah, same shade, just with my finger. To see if you get more pigment. Mm. I think a brush light honestly was better. Sometimes it just doesn't like to blend. Now I just kind of rub it with my finger <laughs> to like drag it over to make a nice sparkle, and then back to the matte shadows. And that's why I'm not going to do my eyeliner today because I think that eyeliner shuts my eyes and is more for a nighttime look. I'm just taking a makeup look to clean up these edges because they are atrocious. Something needs to be done about them things. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. going to be taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation because there's going to be lots of family pictures I have to take part in today and flashback does not need to be a thing. So when you open up this foundation it comes with a little spatula and I literally just pan it out. Just throw it all over the face. A beauty blender from Ulta. And oh my god. Can you guys see that on my nose? Ah. Oh my goodness. What is my altar? Oh, what is altar, Julia? My Ulta beauty contour kit. And I'm gonna go in with a little baby brush. And take this warmth bronzer. It's like an ashy tone. And here's what we're gonna contour with today. I'm gonna go in with a blush. I've never used these blushes, but I've heard good things about them. Rescue Beauté. Risque. <laughs> oh my god. Yet again, we're going in with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this peachy tone because I think it will go with the eyes. These are. Wow. Whoa, girl. little flush but it kind of has the peachier tones to go with the eye. I like that. Right, I'm reaching for my color dye bow again to smoke out that bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in with a brush like this just a flat ended brush and mix this orangey in the darker brown shade. Shade, just to blend it out. Building up can be a hassle sometimes, but once it's built up, it's so pretty. We're gonna mix. Let's just not mix. We're just gonna take this one and 
Put it on the cheeks. Oh. Uh. Yes. I don't know why I tap it in, but I just noticed I do that. If you guys ever want to like critique something or you have some other way of doing it that works better or the same, comment. Let me know. I'd love to try it. I'm also going to take this shade and just with my finger put it in the corner. Whoa. To open up that eye. I can't wait for winter when I'm paler to use this shade because it is so, uh, everything. This is the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals. Oh my god. I'm gonna go in with the Last Sensational Luscious Faux Fan Effect by Maybelline. Do you guys hear me stutter over all these words? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna go in with, back in with the Lash Domination. I said fix it, it was bugging me. And hit these bottom lashes. I forgot earlier to set my brows, so we're gonna go in with the elf. The elf clear product to set those bad boys. It just looks like this. It's like one size for your eyes and one size for your um, eyebrows. I usually just end up using both for my eyebrows because I'm pretty sure they're the same product. I'm gonna wipe my lips off. I'm gonna go in with the Vivid Matte Liquid Lip by Maybelline. If you guys haven't picked up yet, my lips are huge. So I usually don't line them unless I plan on like being busy. And not having time to reapply. Alright guys, and that is the final look. I have to do my hair because it's literally just oh my god. Let's just take a moment.